I'm a civil engineer background specialized in design and construction management. I'm a food scientist, and I specialize in product development, QA, and raw material procurement. Both of us work for a major corporation, and we thought we have good salary, great benefits, nice working environment, and with professional people. As long as we can work hard, we will realize our dream. And fortunately, through hard work, over the years, we were able to rise through the ranks, climb the corporate ladders. But even with a double six-digit income couples living in California, sometimes we still feel that our financial situation is a little bit tight, if you know what I mean. But even though sometimes we, we think about how can we get our financial independence earlier, you know, life is always full of events. And we are always, always busy. Sometimes we explore our options, but there's always other reasons. We're never able to step out of our comfort zone. But fortunately, that Market America found us. That the market market business model not only allows to, allowed us to own an internet franchise store with little capital investment, tax benefits essentially reduce the risk down to zero. So it allows that the average people just like Emily and I, we have no prior business experience to earn real six-digit income by working part-time, sometime part-time or part-time, to earn this six-digit income by working eight to 15 hours for two to three years. So if you follow the system and follow the plan, after two to three years, you will be able to quit your jobs, spend more time with the family, the kids, and friends, and do whatever you like. In fact, that's exactly, exactly what happened to us. Yeah, in fact, um, I resigned, I retired after three years that we're in the business. To me, it means a lot. It has not changed my life, but has also changed my children's life um, because from then on, I was able to be available whenever and wherever they need me. I can tell you one thing that after three years part-time with Market America, one day Emily received our Market America weekly checks and she opens up and realized that this, bi this weekly check is more than her monthly check with all the deduction. She no longer has the energy to go to work the next day. True story, true story. And as for me, I continue my engineering careers, but I know the fact, because I enjoy design, I enjoy get things built, but I know the fact now, it is just for a vocation, not an occupation. And it's great feeling and, and great satisfaction to know that I have the option if I decide to choose to change my course. It's just a wonderful, wonderful feeling that we appreciate the Market America franchise systems offer to us. Um, for average people like us, with no prior business experience, was able to be here today for really live testimonies of how feasible this business plan is. Looking back, I guess we can share a few tips with you guys. The first one, most importantly, is to be coachable. Um, I remember from the very first beginning, our sponsors and good mentors, uh, Mary and James Guo, they asked us to go to different meetings and then they pass on markers to ask us to become speakers, to ask us to hold home events, to ask us to come up with name list, to do two-on-ones, or to um, do group meetings. We can say 90% of the time, we always say yes, and we tried our very best to follow their suggestions and uh, guidance. And I can give you one or two uh, tips as well. The first one will, has to be follow up. You have to follow up, follow up with your customer, with your prospects, and with your team member. In fact, 
if it is not for one of my colleagues who keeps following up with me and asks me to attend one of the engineering recognition events, that would, I wouldn't run into Marion and Jens. And if not for their careful design follow-up and professional follow-ups and many follow-ups, Emily and I will probably never you know, uh, uh, join Mark America. So we thanks for their follow-up, which is very important, I think, for everyone. And the second tips I have to say it is got to be persistence. Over the years, we have received a lot of objection, a lot of rejection. Sometimes we do not meet our own goals, but we keep doing it, we keep doing it, we keep doing it because we know the system works if you work on it. Okay. On top of that, to be focused is so important. We need to focus on the right things, not negative things, and focus on doing the right things, taking the actions. Just to give you guys two examples, I still remember within 24 hours after I gave birth to my second child, my daughter, Tilly went on to attend and host meetings within 24 hours, and I had C-section. I was still in the hospital. The second example would be, um, in the past 10 years, the conversation between me and my husband has always centered on just two things. The first thing, of course, is about kids. The second thing is about the business. It's about what are the things that need to be done that hasn't been done, that will be done either by him or me. If it's not done, apparently it's not a priority. I think that the, the daily to-do task list really keeps us focused, uh, even though we both work full-time and build this business on a purely part-time basis. The third tip is very important, is that as your organization, organization grows, we will face many problems. We can choose to be either a creative uh, problem creator or a creative problem solver. If you are a problem creator, you will be rewarded by even more problems. If you be, choose to be a problem solver, then every time you take, take on new challenges, you face them and you overcome them, you yourself and your team becomes even stronger and smarter. Yes. Lastly, I want to ask you guys a question. We all know we're here for residual income. Residual income comes from building a solid sales organization. Solid sales organization comes from having the leverage system and have, the, have healthy duplication. Where else, what else can you do to have the most leverage and the best duplication other than being in this room. If you can hold an international convention at your home, then don't bother, don't bother to buy tickets. If you cannot, you have to buy tickets. You have to buy as many as possible. Absolutely correct. In fact, actually, when Emily bought the two convention tickets and asked me to go with her, you know, it's in our family tradition, when wife asks, the husband always say yes. <laughs> Although, I said, Emily, I will go. However, if it is boring or is not what you think, let's go out to have some fun, do some side singing. But I can tell you one thing, though, for sure. Once we get to the convention, we never went anywhere because we were just so impressed by the company, so impressed by the corporate team, impressed by the whole unfranchised presentation, we actually committed ourselves. We said, when we went back home, we will spend 8 to 15 hours quality time to build this business. And that's exactly what happened. And the rest is history. And I can say one thing, though. In my opinion, I think the company has done everything they could. Your team, your sponsor, your senior, senior partner probably has done whatever they could for you as well. But you, every one of us, need to make a decision today that if you are serious about this business, you have to go out to buy at least three tickets. And when we attend our first convention, we actually bought 10 tickets. And I think if there's a little success that we enjoy today, it's probably decided at that particular moment many, many, many years ago. So today, if you are serious about this business, please, please go out to buy at least three. 
10 or more, even better. Thank you very much. Hope it helps. See you at the top.